Well, you find yourself in the River Delta, looking round DG Town, and you need someone who's going to help you just to find your way around. Who can you call on? Yeah, who's in the know? Who can point you where to go? Don't whine, lie. It's don't whine, lie. Don't whine, lie. Said it's don't whine, lie. If your days are a slump but you need to revive, click online to Don't Wine Live. Hi and welcome to Dong Wan Live. I'm your host Gino Deville and I'll be showing you why Dong Wan is being referred to as the Riviera of the PRC. In the past we've made a number of bike shows on where to ride and where to buy bikes here in Dong Wan. This month I'll be taking a look at the latest fad to hit China and also the most scary, that is downhill riding. Now, the first thing you need to know, bottom line, Downhill riding is dangerous. Just have a look for yourself. So basically speaking, you push a bike up to the top of a hill or a mountain and ride down as fast as you can. Sounds simple enough, but when you think that you can reach speeds up to 40 kilometers an hour going across rocks that you wouldn't even want to walk over, is it any wonder that a lot of people get hurt, especially when they don't know what they're doing? This month, I'm going to show you the bikes, the gear you'll need, and give you some tips on just how to ride and how to stay as safe as possible. I'm joined by my good friend and bike guru, Stone Pan of Stone's Bicycle Studio in Dongcheng. So, hi mate, how you doing? Hi. Good hi. to see you. Now, there's not much that Stone can't do on a bike. But when you think that he has been riding and racing bikes in every way possible for the last 15 years, is it any wonder? Let's have a quick look at Stone in action, okay? Now, the first thing I want to talk about today is the bike. Stone, if I want to get into downhill mountain bike riding, can I just use my normal mountain bike I bought from the supermarket? Or do I really need something as special as this? You can use a bicycle from supermarket. You need a special bike. Okay, uh, why? The bicycle from supermarket is designed for the traffic, it's not for sports. Even like the downhill sports is dangerous. You need a very strong bike. Ah, right, okay, now I'm starting to understand. Looking at this, I can see that everything on this is bigger than normal. For example, the tires are a lot fatter. So what, what, what's the reason for that? Um, it's more for grip and uh, to um, over the rocks. Okay, okay, so I'm starting to understand. A downhill bike is basically bigger, stronger in every way possible, yeah? Yes. So I guess that makes it a lot safer. Yeah. Okay, now, the big burning question that I know everybody's gonna wanna know, your bike, how much? Mm, about uh, 35,000. 35,000 renminbi? Yeah. Well, that's a lot of money for a bike. If somebody wanted to get into downhill biking but they didn't have that much money, just for the bike, what would be a starting level price? Uh, if you want to really join the downhill riding, I suggest you use at least uh, nearly 20,000. 20,000 yeah. on the bike, but yeah. it's worth bike. it. Yeah. But when you think about it, the bike is designed to keep you safe, right? Yes. So, the more money you spend, then the stronger the bike is and the safer you will be, I, I guess. So, it makes sense. All right. Hey! Is this some invading space alien from a distant planet? No! It's Stone Pan getting ready to race downhill biking. That's downhill. Oh. 
Now, mate, I have to say, this equipment looks 10 times more than a normal bicycle protection. What's it, what's it all about? Uh, full face helmet and uh, hippo pads, gloves, and a uh, neck protector, knee pads. Let's have a look at the helmet. This is 10 times bigger, 10 times stronger than a normal bike. Bicycle helmet. What's special about this? Uh, full protector your head. This. What is it? It looks like something you would find in a hospital. What is this? Uh, it's neck protector. You must use with the full face helmet. When you fall off, and uh, the full face helmet and will touch the neck protector and uh, won't break break your leg. Wow. Okay, I can see it. So can we just put the helmet back on quickly? So I see. So you're coming down a mountain at 40 kilometers an hour. You hit a tree straight head first, it goes bang, well this will hit the neck protector and it won't break your spine, it will just take all the impact into your shoulders. Wow that's really clever, let's just have a quick look at the back here, as you can see the force hits here, it protects your back, that is absolutely amazing and I can see how valuable that will be. I'm not going to talk about the price because I can, I can tell that this stuff is expensive but is it worth it? It was. That's your, your life. <laughs> exactly. It's as simple as that. You pay the money to protect your life. It's great. Thanks, Stone. guys, there you have it, a look into the crazy world of downhill bike riding. Now please remember, in the West we've had downhill riding for quite some time and there are many places you can go and learn it, but here in China it's very, very new and not too many people know much about it. So please, before you take your grandmother's bike, push it up a mountain and nearly break your neck in the process of coming down again, head down. Find someone like Stone, let them advise you on the right and the safe way to do it. So Stone, thanks ever so much for teaching us how crazy one guy can be on a bicycle. All the information in the show can be found on our website, that's www.dongguantoday.com and this is me Gino DeVille saying see you next time and remember, if your day's in a slump and you need to revive, click online to Dongguan Live. Bye! Bye.